Uh, we here. Uncle 101. Three, two, here we go. We got Noble versus Arts coming up right now. Who am I going by? Am I going by Hangman? What's up? I don't see Anya. Let's see. Am I loved? There we are. On now. I. So, first of all, how you doing? Chillin'. Been enjoying myself. I haven't been here for all of Ultimate, so getting a chance to say hi to everyone and just hang out. I feel like this is a matchup people would expect to see if you were talking about New York, but then when you consider like where Arch is from and Noku like Noku's defending the house tonight, because like a quarter, maybe a third of your brackets invaders. Uh, yeah, we got people <laughs> from CT. NYC and Long Island, and I think we got like one or two people from New Jersey. Yeah, we got two from New Jersey. Arch and Opana from further upstate, like actual yeah. oh upstate. Oh my god, I forgot about Mid-Hudson. Yup. Yeah. Stir, Arch, Opana. No wants on, but uh... So yeah, it's it's a busy night for the Encore boys. <laughs> Not that many Westchester people here today. Not in this bracket. Our heavy hitters didn't show up today. No, uh, no quid, no miles, no Phantom. Phantom's like, Phantom like CT, he's on the Westchester. Yikes. Yeah, he's out there, but I mean, Noku's doing a fine job of holding him down so far. Oh, yeah. I mean, Noku, he's, he's no stranger to the power back. You know, New York just be land in the power. Yup. He's got Ray and Jen somehow all the time. Noku, Noku also cracks a bunch of Phantom. He's no stranger to this matchup. Yeah, this is a good matchup to know too, especially considering like trainers able to do just fine when it comes to landing and taking back stage control, but on the ledge gets a bit rough and Palutena loves picking off characters off stage. Actually, I feel like character Palutena, she was like, her tools are really suited for ledge trapping. You know, for back air, there can be really good for it. Pick people up all the time. I love her catch. Yeah, she just does a good job of being able to hold space well, and if Noku can't find a spot to like get in, actually get his damage, and start to establish the control that PT is known for, you just kind of struggle, especially like right now he's chilling on Squirtle, but all of the mons don't really have a reliable way of getting through like the wall of that power builds with dash attack, back air, the projectiles. I would say Squirtle is kind of one of the most suitable, like, you know, breaking through the defense and, you know, causing all the rushes, all the damage. Yeah, he's got the speed and the small statue definitely helps out, but into the higher percentages, switching the Ivysaur. I think a good call just so you don't explode a Squirtle. And even further. Now Zard's on the playing field. When it comes to explosions, Charizard is no stranger. Indeed. I call this man Bakugo. though. Ooh, good call with the flamethrower. I like that. The fact that Nogu's just willing to chill and just hold it down, don't overcommit. So it's like he just wants to seal up this game, take game one without too much worry. I want to go a little bit buff wall right there. Now with uh, the with auto radical, I want to see you a flip. Swag out a little. Bit. Show off for the fans. Yeah, you're on stream. This is the time to show off with your practice. Exactly, man. You see that? You see that Zada sitting there like a sitting duck? What happened? Oh, oh there. See, Arch knows the vibes. You don't see a lot of Ledge Trump back yeah, airs nowadays. It's like, he started his, his set off really, really rough. Oh, that's the no play. Yeah. And yeah. An set that still hits on the ledge twice. Pokemon Kala's head's just kind of deceptively big. So, like, if she commits to a jump or a drop down, you're not safe. I really think that was probably her hair that got hit. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually. <laughs> Alright, but that was a... I'm not used to Encore having town of the starter stage. Oh, so that's a new development? Okay. Usually, because like, I mean, feel like town is usually like... Oh, like, like, yeah. like, like, no, yeah, it's it's a pretty wonky stage. Like, the, the two platform layouts, no platforms sometimes. Like, it's definitely... I think it's just a good stage to bring someone to if, like, you need to assert your dominance when it comes to taking back the plots, taking back the stage, just pushing outwards. Palu's a good fit for that, and Arch showed in game one that he's pretty solid with playing that way, too. Yeah, like Arch trying to just take advantage of the plots that he had, like a way to escape. And now while there's no platforms, let's trapping, rack up that extra damage. Ooh! Yo, he's just throwing everything in the kitchen sink at him! <laughs> oh, he can't get through this. <laughs> 
That's what I mean, though, is, like, if Howler really wants to bunker down and hold space, she's got the tools to do it. A really good string from Noku bringing it all back, though. This happens when Noku got in just one time. Oh, all right, that was cute. You can't be slipping, especially when you're playing one of the bigger body characters like that. Like across the cast, yeah, Palo might struggle to land down throw a back air, but those big bodies still gotta watch out. All right, I like the I like the string though. Like using water gun in that situation is definitely something to catch off guard. Like, like even doing something like that to throw your opponent's momentum off is just really good. Arch still holding on to the ledge though, doing a really good job extending his damage here. Ooh. Yo, we almost saw the same situation we saw in the first stocks where it was Arch in the lead and Noku just steals the stock. But it at least goes to show that like Noku's not slowing down regardless of playing off the deal. I feel like it takes a lot for Noku to be like, I wouldn't say be motivated, but just like, you know, have his fire burn down. Like, Great catch with the final end. Good lord. slipping. <laughs> okay, we're back to another even game. If you gotta pick and choose as possible, you're gonna like to get the damage off. Like, just finding the end is the hard part. Like, yeah, like, Squirtle's got the combos. And when you're starting it off on center stage, you've got plenty of room to maneuver. Like, look at that. 35 from one string, not bad. And now we deep off stage, so... Well, Ivy's sort of a good pick. Here. I'm not back at downer, my fault. Right, I haven't forgot the claws on you, or I should say fine. Right, Ooh, not dangerous situation. Yeah, that's the struggle with edge guarding with Ivy Stories. You gotta commit to like that high or low. Because no regardless, they've got the tools for it. Easily. But not that much speed to really adjust ahead of time. Meanwhile, Palutena in the air, she's got speed for days when it comes to war. Speed and the hitbox too. Up smash almost doing it. Good DI from Arch. Unfortunately, explosive flame plays a little too low, so it fizzles. I have never seen explosive flame do that. Yeah, you have to have like a really specific uh, spacing for it, but yeah, just get them out of here. That's a 2 0 for Noku. Get them out of here. Okay. Good Everyone did Hard fought match. Hard fought match.